this is okay. Now we're like we're venturing into new realms of saves coming. This is like we've we've gone from like mild to <laughs> to spicy. Okay. Well, yeah, it's <laughs> this is we we could. So the thing is, we could have played through that fight, and we probably could have won it. The problem was going to be is that you would have been bored. So, okay. First, here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna uh, Shadow Heart is gonna uh, cast Sanctuary. Okay. I just need to find it. Okay, that's all. What I need to do is find sanctuary. I wish I wish I had a way of doing a cert. Here we go. Should I do? Oh, wait a minute. What level is sanctuary? Does it make a difference? Have drawn the ire of someone oh. nearby. Okay, Th a that kind of ruins it. I did something. Okay. Um, that's not. I was just turning out the light, so he did not like that. Okay, I'm gonna crank so... Sanctuary up to level three. I don't know, does that make a difference? No, it doesn't. Upcast? No. I don't think it does. Um, okay, I'll see, I'll try to make it so the steering doesn't die. Okay. Now she's Sanctuary, and she can heal now. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna fireball. Where did he go? He is all the way up the stairs here at Asterion because I pulled him out. Uh huh. Didn't mean to, but. Uh huh. Okay. Um. Am I going to be able to get both of them? Not unless not from here. I'll have to practically enter the room to make this happen. Well, they're not hostile to you yet. Yeah. But I want a fireball. Do you want to save scum that again because I screwed up? No, I think let's see what we can do with it. Um, okay. let, let me know if you need me to move Zarg because he's in there right now to try to draw their attention. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Before uh, you okay, I think I could do it. Oh, no, I have to practically enter the room to do this. But before you fireball, though, you may want to put like Shadowheart over by the the marksman that's outside the door with you, so that she can take him on when battle starts. The reconstituted marksman. Okay. Uh, I need to yeah. ungroup them. Uh, toggle group. G. A long way to go still. And I is she, does she need to hide? No, I don't think hiding will help her at all. But if she's over there, she can she can take this way. You know take him in uh in melee yeah she'll she'll stand behind him <laughs> she's oh no she's she's in sanctuary right now yeah no no do you don't understand she's in sanctuary right now if she attacks she blows sanctuary she's right now she's providing support she's she's invincible and she can heal others she won't take damage yeah. you understand mm-hmm if she but she can't. You want her to. You want her to take out the marksman. Whatever works best for you, because everyone's going to be on Angela, right? Okay, so no, no, I shouldn't have used sanctuary. Well, it's you, you can still attack. It'll just it'll just pause sanctuary for for a little bit of time. Does it not kill it? No, it just it just makes it called sanctuary blocked. Until your next roll, uh, until your next uh, round. Okay. All right. We'll keep, we'll give that a shot. All right. Um, oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm gonna go to uh, Angela. Have a lot on my mind. And well, I don't know. Really. Somehow we could figure out some. I can't figure out how to do this in a way that's gonna. Oh, sanctuary is already gone. Why? Because we're not in turn-based mode, so time's flowing like normal. Oh, okay. Well, this that's stupid then. All right, never mind. Um, this is this whole fire. This whole fight is is screwed up. So I'm just gonna do this. There we go. Done. Did that do anything? No, I, can... I have no idea. Yeah. It started. It definitely started combat. She can run further away if you want. No, nah, it's okay. We'll deal with it. Well, if she runs further away, away from the door there, then there, she's going to be out move. of... It's a Starian's 
Uh, she's active, uh, staring. At, I'm, I'm way down the line. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see. What should I have staring do? Probably drink a potion. Oh, he can't. He can't. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to just land my turn. What is this? What noises are coming from over here? It's weird. So, what are you doing? Okay, I got a I got a ghoul here. There's okay, right? This is this is awesome. I'm gonna do. Uh, does it make a difference what shield I use? No, um, upcasting shield does no benefit for you. It just lets you use a okay. a spell slot if you ran out of the others. Yep. This fight's not going any better than the last one. I would argue it's going worse. Oh, I lost my turn. Why am I? Why did I lose my turn? Am I paused for some reason? Hang on. I I don't know. Oh, now I've got turns. All right. Um, I'm gonna do guardians. Yeah. I think guardians are going to be, and I'm going to do actual radiant guardians. There we go. That that should that should make them extra. Oh, did we? Did I just take one of them out from that? Maybe I did. You did. Ah, that's nice. Okay. You, you may want to consider running over to Angela. So you can get yeah, the I'm going to take an AOE uh, opportunity attack, but whatever. She, they missed. Okay, keep moving. Keep going. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. Um, is there anything wait, else? Wait, I don't, hmm? don't end your turn yet. I didn't realize this. Star is not in combat. Let me get him in combat here. This is like last time. So um, it looks like I can do a the spiritual weapon. Um, how about a great sword? Uh, let's let's put that bad boy right here. Okay, I got a I've got a great sword. The great sword now can give him a smack. Yeah, good job, good job, great sword. <laughs> and then I'm gonna move. Great sword's gonna move around him, over here. There we go. Get involved in the action. Uh, you can fly. You can. Okay, I think that's it. That's it. Great sword's done. Uh, it doesn't look like uh, Shadowheart can do anything else. Are you ready? I'm good. Okay, I'm going to end my turn. It will be a time to put an end to your folly. There you go. Okay. Oh, great. Balthazar, what are you going to do now? He's, he's, he's going to go after us over here. He's trying to get away from me. Yeah. Well, don't let him. Yeah, shoot him! <laughs> Critical hit! Good job! Nice, he's down to half health. I, just, yeah, I guess... Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to, I can't really get him to hide anywhere. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this. We have... I'm, he was able to hide in plain sight. He's heavily obscured, so hmm. okay. we'll see if this works. Okay, I, I got, I got, I'm paralyzed now. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Hey, <laughs> Gollum's having fun. Oh, he thinks that that uh, what's this is over there, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, you think Asterion's right there, but he's not. He's confused. Yep. All right, there we go. Guardians did their job. <laughs> Good job, Guardians. Uh, you know what? I think I'm just going to give him a good old whack. What do you think? Oh, no, I... I go for it. Whack. <laughs> Divine Strike! Yes! No, do I want to waste that? 
So how many? It takes what? Uh, I don't know. It, it takes. Some, I, I would just do it anyways. It takes some of your your points. Your um, what do you call it? Cleric points. But I mean, to be honest. Okay. It did. You're it in a did, pretty rough place. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm paralyzed over here. Angela's paralyzed. Okay. Yeah. So basically, yeah. And then, um, uh, okay, that's her turn. Now, if I go to spiritual weapon, spiritual weapon, uh, can, oh, he's got a special lacerate. No, I don't think let's just do it. There we go. He's down. <laughs> he's gone. Good job. Spiritual weapon. Um, can spiritual weapon move now? Not enough movement. Okay. He can, he can go a little bit. There we go. He's coming though. I think we've cleared this whole outer area, right? Seems that way. Okay. Well, the Angela's is, paralyzed, so everybody she can't... level. Mm -hmm. Everybody leveled up except for Zar, because for some reason I'm a few XP behind. So um, well, next next one that dies. That's what you happen for not getting in the fight. <laughs> 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 well, what you could do, uh, Shadowheart, is uh, you could. Is there anything she can do for Angela? Maybe I um, would say she could do a heal. Yeah, mass healing had, work. Like, or I wouldn't do mass because you, you can only get one or two people with it. Okay, healing word. I would just do healing word. And then healer. Take two. Temporary hit points. She's that did improve. She's feeling better. She can't still can't move. Okay, but and then and she's only paralyzed for one more turn, so Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay. Um and then and then basically uh I think what we can do is we, she's gonna move to block this hallway. There we go. She's like she's gonna take the brunt of damage. There we go. Balthazar. What are you doing, Balthazar? Okay, cloud kill. Okay, that that's bad. That's bad. He did it again. Okay. Angela's down. That's okay, there's no ghouls over here. Wait a minute. Okay, Shadowheart's not down. Okay. Okay. All right. So I can't do anything with, uh, yeah, I know you're, you're sad and moaning and stuff like that, but I think she's just going to have to do another healing on her and, and get her hit points up. But if we do that, the cloud kill is going to do damage again, right? You need to get out of the cloud kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe Shadowheart could pick her up. What is she failing to die? Like, what is that? I think, what, what is that saving well, I, I can't do anything right now because it's Asterion's turn. Yeah, no, I'll just take a look at the saving throw. It is constitution. Okay, that makes some sense. Yeah. We'll, get, we'll, we'll bring Angela out of this. Yeah, she's, she's not strong. So, you know, that's not her uh, forte. <laughs> he keeps trying... <laughs> he does. I love it. Golem, Golem, where go? Where he go? Okay. Yeah. Bad things are happening. Cloud kill. I got to get out of there too. All right. Can I pick up my friend? Uh, cloud kill gone. What? Oh, cloud kill gone. Cloud kill's gone. Okay. I, yeah, I killed Althazar, So, yay. Uh, we're still in a fight, right? Okay. So if I heal, yeah. right, that should do something. Healing word? Cure wounds. Cure wounds is better than healing word. Uh, yep. Level... And you're close enough. Level... No, level two. I'll do level two. There we go. Take your All right. That's it. You're back up on your feet. Okay, good job. Oh, but uh, Shadowheart's kind of... She's, she's feeling it a little bit. She can pay, maybe take a health potion. That'll give her a little bit of a... A little bit of an oomph. Now, what are we doing? Oh, it's over there. Okay. Shadowheart can't do anything, so she's going to move off out of the view. Uh, but she'll 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 help in a minute, okay? She's going to go over here. Moving. All right. And... Oh, sword! Sword! Sword can come. He's going to come. He's coming. He's slow, though. But he's coming, okay? End turn. Need to act fast. Uh, is there anything else I can do as Shadowheart? No. Okay. Now, uh, what I can do, though, 
is, um, can I throw a uh, potion of he greater healing at our feet and then it'll heal both of us? Uh, yes, just make sure that it looks like you're both highlighted. Okay, so what I need to do is go into my inventory, find a potion of greater healing. Oh, I can't throw it. Why? Uh, oh, you I did. Don't I, have your action. No, I already for some did. Reason. I think it's because I used my action to get up. That's why. So what I can do is I can also get around and get into safety. There we go. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. Can I hide? Toggle, toggle. Uh, can I? Where, wait a minute. Where, where is it? How do I hide? Crouch. Z. What? C or it's in your action bar. Yeah, I can't. This uh, this bar is too big. I'm just gonna. I can't. Not enough resources. And turn. Yeah. Next. <laughs> oh, he's got a big. Uh, he's got a really big spiky ball on it. The end of it. Do you see that? Yep. All right. Now I'm poison. Oh, I'm no longer poisoned. Okay. All right. Um, who needs who needs my help? You guys are fine. We just need to get rid of this uh, golem, right? Yep. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna help out with that. I'm gonna guiding bolt this guy. Not enough movement. Uh oh. I can't get close enough. Okay. Um. All right. In that case, I'm going to uh. Let's see. We we got uh ranged attack. Arcane ammunition. Oh no. Okay. Uh, ranged attack. And I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can shoot him with my uh, crossbow. Let me strike true. Missed. Okay. Well, that wasn't good. <laughs> but I'm coming in. I'm coming in so that I got better range. All right. Okay. All right. And then, oh my goodness, the camera. The camera. Uh, sword. Oh, oh, get get up there. Okay, he's you can try hitting O to see if that'll help with the camera. No, nah, it's okay. View. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, end turn. Stay focused. Uh, can she do anything? She can do uh, another healing. You know what? Mass healing word is a level three spell. She's got one level three slot left. Click to confirm. Is she? Is that going to cover everybody? It, it's not going to cover Asterian. But it will cover uh, Czar. What do you think? Czar's only missing like four hit points. I don't know if I'd waste it. Oh, oh! I thought he was in worse shape than that. Okay, never mind. He took a couple hits, but I, I used um, I have I have um, second wind oh. as an action that I, I was able to heal eighteen hit points. So. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna use sanctuary again. A spiritual weapon. She's already mass healing word. Um, healing healing word. Can I get to? Hang on. Let me see if I can reach Asterian. I can't reach Asterian. Do I have any movement left? I don't. Okay, I can't get up there to to reach Asterian. So the only thing I can do is nothing right now, except maybe. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's all right. Uh huh. Okay, that's all I got. Uh, I could do sanctuary. No. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm coming in too. I'm coming in. Don't waste a step. And then I can do a um, firebolt on 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 His Majesty here. Oh, he's got an aversion to fire. Does that mean he's uh, susceptible to it? I think that does. That. Uh, he recently suffered fire damage, so he has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I'm going to take a potion of healing. There we go. I feel better now. <laughs> there we go. Okay. That's all I got. Oh, he. Oh, oh, sword. That's you know what? Sword did his job. Sword, sword did his job. Okay. Um, I'm going to do guiding. There we go. 
that's not bad. That that did that's okay. And then I'm gonna move up and uh, do a mass healing work. No, you're still out of range. Oh no, you're not. You're in range. I think everybody's in range. There we go. Everybody's got some go. a little bit more health. We're all in good shape. <laughs> okay. I'm coming up. Yep. And um, I don't know. Go go for it. Yes. Oh, so go for it, and then I'll I'll have the steering take a shot here when you're. Oh, okay. You're I've got chromatic orb. I can do chromatic orb with fire. No, that's only two of two to sixteen. I'm gonna do firebolt. Oh, I can't. I can't shoot him from back here. <gasps> Why? Apparently, this low bear, this thing that is preventing me. Oh my goodness. Okay, I need to use an AOE attack. Uh, what do I have that's AOE? What can I use? No I'm, idea. I still, I still think you need. You're gonna have to have some sort of vis visual on where you're casting. How about this one right here? I mean, how, come, how come you don't want to use Firebolt? Because uh, I, I can't get em enough movement. You should be able to. No, I moved. I, I ran up here, to get, and now I don't have any movement. Oh, left. okay, okay. And I need to move uh, up. That's what I mean. I can't get. I can't shoot past this. Right. That's why. So okay. I'm kind of stuck. I don't really have any. I could do wall of fire. No, that's kind of a weird use of wall of fire. Cloud of daggers. I mean, he only has 14 hit points left. Oh. So you you can take care of it? Yeah, you can take care of it. Uh, I, do I got do nothing I take left. a shot? No, I can't do anything. That's it. Well, there we go. Uh, Acolyte, uh, for those for whom the bell tolled. Uh, oh, nice. What do you think? Petrif yeah, I got a petrified tumor and then a topaz from uh, our friend here, Flesh. From Fleshy? What about Balthazar? Yep. Oh. Circle of Bones, an undead ward, allied undead within six meters, are resistant to bludgeoning. That's a necromancer thing. But I'll take your I'll take your circlet, uh, and a dagger and a book. Oh, Soul Cage Research. Oh, I'll take that. Recipe unlocked. Salts of carrion. Okay, hang on a sec. We gotta we gotta do this. Hang on, latest. Uh, rambling notes in a spidery jagged hand fill the volume. They speak of a soul cage binding the life force of one to that of another. A crude drawing shows two figures side by side. The one on the left appears to have a dagger protruding from his chest, while the one on the right has a corresponding wound in its own chest. Soul cage binding life force of one to that of another. Okay, that's something to remember, right? That seems important. Might be useful. Yeah, there's a research. Do we want the surgery kit? Very strange researcher. I, I picked up the sur uh, uh, research. Yeah, worst oh. case you can sell it, right? Uh, cloud giant finger, frosted ear, divine bone shard, uh, zorn scales, and a goth eye stock. Oh, I I'll take it. That sounds all very delicious. What's inside? Oh, and uh, scroll of peak with speak with dad. Okay, that's cool. Although I'm pretty good at that already. Uh, what's in the urn? Bones. <laughs> what about in the other urn? Can't reach it. Okay. Stained towel. Do you want a stained towel? I hey, don't. I am good. <clears throat> okay, I lit some candles because you know this place is kind of gloomy and dark. <laughs> so um, the the chests I all raided were just like a little bit of um, what do you call it? Uh, like crafting supplies. 
and then uh, like 21 gold pieces or something like that. It wasn't very much. There's a broken I left, left Balf. Yeah, I left Balthazar for you if you want to. Do I already it. did. I already went. I, 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 oh, did you? I, okay. Yeah, that's the circlet of whatever, the necromancer thing. Remember? Yes, I, I, so I thought you were somewhere else. Sorry. No, um, broken moon lantern. Broken moon lantern catches your eye. Its glow now snuffed out. Okay. We already know about moon lanterns, don't we? Yep. Okay. Uh, those books had nothing in them. What about this uh, large vase? Oh, it's got cups. And a silver glass. Okay. All right. Um, crate of vegetables. Oh, come on. There's got to be some rotten vegetables. Okay. Who knew that dead guy uh, didn't have, um, like, fresh fresh vegetables? <laughs> so, I did want to remind you, we all have leveled up. Yeah. Do you want to take the level up now? Or do you uh, want to wait? Sure, I'm having a nap, though. Look, look. <laughs> Angela's had a long day. Okay? She's she's having a nap in the dead, dead the necromancer's bed. So, did you know there's so a I'm mirror thinking... here? Hang on a minute. Hold on a sec. <laughs> there's a mirror. Not bad. I've had better days. And worse ones. <laughs> uh, granite bench. There she go. She's, she's going to try that out. And then uh, there is a uh, heavy chest over here. I'm going to open it. Uh, there's gold and a healing potion. Nice. Okay. What were you saying? I'm coming. I'm thinking we should... Well, might as well go back to camp. Go ahead and um, do level up. Do a long rest. Just get our spell slots back and everything. Yep. And then let's head down to uh, the rest of the... The char, the char, char experience. The char experience is that is that a new? So, it. it sounds like a ride at an amusement park. I don't know how amusing it is, but <laughs> sure. <laughs> Hop on the char experience. Um, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, let's go and let's go back to camp. It's, it's a one-way ticket to I don't remember where. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. We all have a bit of foggy memory. Uh, level up. Where is it? Wait a minute. Uh, there it is. She is now a sorcerer at level 9. She gets... Oh, she got five more hit points. <laughs> uh, she gained a spell. Oh. Uh, she got so another sorcery point. This is not exactly the most whatever, but... No, level level nine's not that great. Like for me, I only got um, I got nine additional hit points for my level, but I did get a class feature, and this one is called Indomitable. Um, so basically, whenever I fail a saving throw, I can roll it again and use a new result instead. Oh, nice, nice little perk. I could get Cloud Kill. Yeah, I know. I mean, I, if. Spells at the spells as you get to this level are pretty interesting because you're into further level five spells. So there's a lot of interesting spells there. You're not going to be able to cast them a lot of the time because you know, level five spell slots, but they're definitely interesting to look at and see what's available. Telekinesis. I can throw a creature or an object up to 18 meters with a thought. Once per turn, you can use a telekinesis spell. Telekinesis again without expending a spell slot. And it lasts for 10 turns. What do you think of that? I mean, it could be fun. I mean, it could be fun. I'm, I, I, I'm thinking. Okay, let's look at them all. Okay, first of all, Wall of Stone. Okay, so that's kind of like a pres uh, protection thing, right? Um, mm -hmm. Seeming. So I can disguise up to four members of the, of the party with an illusion. Okay. Is that useful? I don't know. I mean, it could be. Um, I'm wondering how that would be for like a, avoiding things like um, battles and whatnot. I'm wondering the same thing. There's also insect plague. Okay. 
that's fine. It's like it's basically the insect version of a cloud of daggers, right? Uh, hold monster. I can paralyze a creature. It can't move or react. Attacks from within within three meters are always critical hits. No effect on undead. So it doesn't work on undead, but no, but it holds everything else. Yeah, paralyzed creature. Correctly. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of that? That's that's pretty amazing. Uh, then we've got dominate person, so I can make a humanoid fight alongside me. Every time a creature takes damage, it it makes a wisdom saving throw against my domination, uh, and allies cannot be dominated. So I could turn people, humanoids. Yep. Cone of cold does eight to sixty four damage. Oh boy, that's pretty bad. That's that, not pretty bad. That's pretty, you know. And then there's um, the cloud kill that for ten turns it'll inflict five to forty poison damage per turn. I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of liking all of these. Yeah, so cone of cold is is nice because it's a it's a cone shape, and it's a lot of damage, yep. right? Cloud kills good for anything that doesn't have poison resistance. I don't know how many NPCs and stuff we're going to fight has poison resistance. I really don't know. You know, I've got stone skin. Turn a creature's flesh as hard as stone. It takes only half damage of all non-magical bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Lasts until long rest. It is a concentration spell, though. Yeah, it's uh, it's hard to make a decision here. Yeah, to be honest with you. I mean, I like telekinesis. And I think dominate person's kind of cool. Uh, okay. I'm going to go with Cone of Cold because I'm um, an eight, eight, six, eight to 64 damage. Um, you okay. know, yeah, I'm going to do that. She likes her offensive spells. All right. Shadow Heart. Okay. Oh, wow. Ooh, two spell slots. Nice. Yeah. Um, life Domain. Oh, two. Wait a minute. Did they auto pick? No, um, so because her class, she gets access to all the spells. It just depends on what you want to prepare. Oh, she's currently got Mass Cure Wounds uh, selected yep. and Greater Restoration. Well, yeah, so, hmm? Yep, so those, if you look down below, Life Domain spells, those are the two Life Domain oh, they spells come with that her... she has. Oh. Yep, so they come with her class, meaning you don't have to waste yeah, any yeah. preparation on it. She always knows it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the uh, Greater Restoration. Touch a creature and negate any charm, petrification, stun, or curse. That's nice. How about planar uh, binding? So target an otherworldly creature and attach its consciousness to your own. It will follow and fight for you as an ally. So it must be a celestial, elemental, fey, or fiend. That's not exactly useful most of the time. She also gets insect plague, uh, flame strike. You know what? Should I grab flame strike? Um, yeah, so all of those you'll know. You'll have to go to your pre pre preparation screen. So well, if you go, I was thinking I would prepare you, now. Like, okay, I think you have to you have to click prepare spells in the upper left hand corner then, or just yeah. go in through here. Which I think it's K. K the hot. Blades always sharp. All right. Uh... It's it's easier to make that choice when you can see everything that you have prepared. Right. So, uh, this is what I have prepared right now? Correct. And what I could do is I could add flame strike. Oh, cannot. Okay, so this is what we... Okay. You know, Guiding Bolt is so handy as a level one spell. I like using it. Um, uh, oh, she's got Insect Plague. No, get rid of that. I'm going to do... I want Flame Strike instead of Insect Plague. And then she's got freedom of movement. Do I want that? I don't think I do. Oh, 
Snap an ally out of stun uh, difficult terrain. No, that's I don't like. You know what? Wasn't there a oh? How many level fives? She's only got one. Okay, well level four. Uh, freedom of movement or banishment. So how about I grab, uh, you know, that freedom of movement's pretty good. She could have used that to, uh, help, um, shadow, uh, 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 Angela, right? Um, yeah, abjuration. I think so. I think so. I, what I didn't see is I saw, I didn't, I saw stun, but I didn't see paralyzation, but then it also says it can't be magically paralyzed. So... I'm guessing that would have, would have worked. Right, exactly. So that's what I'm thinking. Uh, Spirit Guardians, that's good. Is there anything here that... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, these are the ones that are already checked off. Shield of Faith, uh, create, create Water, Warding Bond. What do we got here? Prayer of Healing. Uh, daylight. That might... Oh, she's got Daylight already. Yeah, we've used that before. I like Daylight. Remove Curse. Hmm. Oh. I think, you know what? I'm going to go with what I've got right now. There we go. Okay. We're good. Uh, okay. I'm, I've am i done my level ups. What about you? Yep. Mine were easy. They were just literally accept because you got these new things and have no choices. All right. Are we going to go to sleep? Yeah, we might as well get some spell slots back. Oh, hang on. No. Uh, no not time for Dali. No, I want to, Angela. Angela, she's the one that, that, there we go. Yes. Do you know what happens when a devil is struck down on this charming plane of existence? It returns to the hells, to the very point where it last stood before venturing to whichever devil-forsaken plane it died on. In the case of our friend Yergir, the Orthon you so handily dispatched in the Temple of Shah, he manifested in my House of Hope. He returned to me chastened but intact. His wounds healed, his body restored. He thought I would dismember him. But he has his uses, so instead I am re-educating him. We delivered the devil. Now I want what I'm owed. We had a deal. Yeah. Indeed we did. I discovered all there is to know about those scars of yours. It's a rather grim tale. <laughs> Even for my tastes. Uh, oh, is it you? Oh, that's odd. I guess so. All right, go for it. Um, what have you got here? So stop stalling. Are you able to know? Uh, are, are you sure you want to know, Asterian? Uh, spill it. This sounds fascinating. <laughs> Wait, what do you think? I like spill it. This sounds fascinating. I'd appreciate a little less enthusiasm when it comes to Cazador and his horrors. Okay. I think oh, you didn't like that. Um, <laughs> oh, why not? We're about to unveil your destiny. Didn't he want to know? Be quivering. Yeah. I like how you can see um, what's her name, Lazelle, fighting in the background as they're talking. Into that ivory skin of yours is one part of an infernal contract between the archdevil Mephistopheles and your former master, Kazador Zar. In full, the contract states that Kazador will be granted knowledge of an infernal ritual so vile it has never been performed. The rite of profane ascension. It promises to be a marvelous ceremony, very elaborate, incredibly ancient, and entirely diabolical. If he completes the rite, he will become a new kind of being, the Vampire Ascendant. All the strengths of his vampiric form will be amplified, and alongside them he will enjoy the luxuries of the living. The arousals and appetites of man will return to him, and unlike Astarian, 
He will have no need of a parasite to protect him from the sun. Oh. But the ritual Daywalker. has its price. As all worthwhile things do, Lord Cazador will need to sacrifice a number of souls, including all of his vampiric Including spawn, Hysterion? If he is to ascend. Correct. Imagine how he felt then, when one of those precious spawns simply disappeared into uh, thin air. There we go. The only missing ingredient is Astarion. You are the final piece he requires to complete the ritual. Your scars bind you to it. Your soul will set off a very wave of death, bringing Cazador his twisted life. And that, my tragic and toothsome friend, is that. Okay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have business elsewhere. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Raphael. Go, go to, go. I was going to tell him to go to hell, but. <laughs> go home. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. So number one is, yeah, I agree with, hang on a sec though. Uh, is there, okay. Is that all you have to say? You don't need to go back to Cazador. You with me now? <laughs> That's funny. You're quiet. It, it's unsettling. Unsettling. Um, what do you think? What do you like, Cazador? Your is a yeah. And then we're gonna stop. I him? am. Well, I, I'm just moving my mouse around. Um, I am happy to whatever you would like to explore. What do you? Well, what's your opinion? Is because I've explored this, so I, I, I don't want to set you down. A path that you may not be interested in. Well, do do we not want to kill Cazador? Well, I'm all down for killing Cazador. Is there a downside to killing Cazador? I, I mean, there, there's all, there's always a downside to something in this game, right? Yeah, but what's the option? Okay, we could do. Hmm, that's all you have to say. Or you're quiet. It's unsettling. How about that? Number four. It's a lot to take in. Just probe him for information. What do you think I should do? Okay, so he doesn't know what he wants to do. Uh, there's a way to become a living vampire. That must mean a lot to you. Well, yeah, but... Yeah, I don't I don't know if that is... Well, okay. You'll never be free while Cazador lives. I think you should run. Uh, we can't let Cazador complete the ritual. He could unleash terrible horrors. I mean, number one and number three are the same. Yeah. They're different flavors of the same thing. Right. Um, you'll, uh, how about just number three? I hate how right you are. I knew he wouldn't leave me alone even when I was just another wretched toy for him to play with. But if I'm the key to this power he craves, he'll hunt me to the ends of Faerun. <sighs> I need to take the fight to him. Then that's uh, and I uh -huh. need you to help me. Um. Okay. Of course, I'll help. We'll hunt him down and kill him. What do you think? I I like that one. Yeah. Thank you. He approves. Syrian approves. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. Anybody? <laughs> Does anybody want to chat? I don't know. Um, I'm not seeing anyone. But um, if you just hit, if you hit sleep, it'll it'll ask you. Are you sure you don't want to talk to people? Okay. Would you like to go to bed? Yes. Oh, and then we can uh, auto select. Yeah. There we go. Full rest. We've got a lot of food. We do. Nap time, nap Pick time. Pick up everything and send it back to camp. <laughs> there we go. We got the moan of of, of, uh, of healing. Yeah. And that was it. Okay. And no, still nobody wants to talk to us? No. They've been very quiet. They yeah. have been very quiet. 
Interesting. Let me see. I wonder if it, Arabella. Have, have you talked to Arabella recently? I don't know if she has anything new to say. I mean, I can try talking to Arabella. Jeez. By Bone Man. I guess I can take care of myself. I mean, I've gotten this far. She's not. She doesn't hate me anymore. That's nice. I mean, we really didn't do anything wrong. We just had to. Ha we had to be the ones to tell her that her parents had died. We're, we're dead. Basically. You know, so. Okay, I'm gonna come. Let's see if what Karnak has to say. If there's anything. <laughs> Wish I could say I was surprised about Cazador's pact. Where blood, death, and betrayal parade, you can bet your ass a devil is riding Grand Marshal. We're going to keep Astarian safe. On my life, Cazador won't touch him. I like the cut of your jib, Karnak. <laughs> um, so about our tadpole powers. You really did it, huh? Not worried about adding more lithid into the mix? Well, what can I say? You look fine, smell fine, seem fine. Okay. And yet, you're more mind flayer than ever. Ah, uh, what? Hope you don't expect me to follow your lead in this. I didn't. I don't remember using a worm since the last time no. I spoke to her. This dialogue is way out of order. Like this should not be being said right now. There's there's a bug. Um, I was hoping you might. The benefits seem to outweigh the costs. I, I would avoid this line of questioning here just because it's 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 meant to be explored much further down the line. Okay, how about not at all? Yeah. Good. And you know, keep an eye on yourself. If you start feeling loopy, shout. We don't know what these tadpoles are capable of. It could be because in the past, like maybe the, at this point, there's a trigger that says if you have used a tadpole, because we did one, right? Yeah, uh, there's... I did, I did one. I, I took something. Uh, I don't remember what it was. Um, yeah, I think persuasion. I can't remember. It, yeah, so I think you took one that was like favored beginnings. Yeah, but, uh, there's a there's a spot you'll when we get there that this dialogue is supposed to be like after like you'll know it okay. you'll know it in the story it's it's obvious. I'm just gonna talk once, to everybody. I'm just gonna talk. I'm hey, gonna go for it. Chat with the Starian here. Now is not the time. He's not speaking to me. He likes you better, by the way. I think he likes your little, uh, your 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 solid little gnomey body. That's what he likes. So you just be aware of that. I'm gonna talk to Gale. I can't imagine how Astarian must be feeling. The terms of your own condemnation carved into your skin. Monsters' actions, and monsters do not deserve such power as that ritual promised. I agree. When the time comes, Astarian will have his revenge. I'm sure. And it will be richly deserved. But not yet. So, what can I do for you? Oh. Um, okay. We've got a bunch of dialogue here. Um. Um. Uh, how about, is, is Mistra always such a demanding goddess? She expects those who seek to use the weave to do so honestly respect for its potential to destroy as well as its potential to save I doubt she's asked many of her followers to blow themselves up that's a fate she's bequeathed exclusively to me right he's a bomb ask such a thing if it weren't our only means of survival yeah I remember this okay however much she's annoyed at me well she's turned you into the holy hand hand grenade of Antioch but that's okay uh, how are you feeling? Can't be easy facing the possibility of death. Oh, you know me, never the optimist. I'm trying to focus on the positives. Truth is, I was living on borrowed time already. Consuming those items would only have kept the orb sated for so long. If anything, I feel more at peace than I have in months. At least now I know my death will have purpose. It won't be a distant bang in the footnotes of history. All right. Um, 
I was wondering about that mighty lord you told me about in your story. Oh. Ah, uh, yes. Carsus. Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like to be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable. To be mistaken. Mm -hmm. As Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel. And with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral, the end of Carsus, and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more. An event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. Ah, uh, so at that moment in time, all magic was gone? For a spell. Mistral was reborn as Mistra. Upon her return, the weave returned with her. Now, so many centuries later, I tried to follow in the footsteps of Carsus. Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. I tried to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. Okay. So what do you make of having a vampire in our camp? Uh, no, we, we're good with that, right? Or yeah. Should, should I? Either way, I mean... Uh, that's fine. We can talk to him about it. Yeah, yeah, let's ask him. I know what it is to hunger. And I know what it takes to keep that hunger under control. He's done that so far despite his condition. So long as he sates his appetite elsewhere, I'm happy to give him the benefit of the doubt. All right. Okay. Gil's, Gil's a bit pompous at times. He's, He's not such a bad guy. No, I don't dislike Gail. I don't dislike Gail at all. All right, Shadowheart. It seems like Kazador used Astarian's flesh not as a canvas, but as a contract. We haven't heard the last of this, I'll wager. I agree. That mask makes her look like a stone monkey. Yeah. <laughs> all right. It's. Uh, I want to talk to about all that happened to us. Should I talk to her more? Yeah, go for it. Fine. What's on your mind? How am I holding up in your estimations? Does it even need to be asked? We're beyond me merely liking you. I think I'm a different person owing to you. Oh, turn to other matters. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> okay, see ya. It's like, okay, yeah, bye. <laughs> Don't get so. Thank you, no, thank you. Uh, should we talk to Will? <laughs> we haven't talked to Will for ages. Yeah, go for it. Our very own vampire is the missing pawn in his master's deadly game. Now. How about we go and reverse Kazador's fortunes? I agree. The cultists have taken your father to the Moonrise Towers. Floric confirmed it. Then we know our mission. All roads converge at Moonrise. Yep. Can we trust Flor Floric? I was 11 when the Counselor spotted and slayed an assassin who stalked father from the shadows. I was 13 when she brought word of a goblin warband advancing on Rivington. Her keen scouting saved a hundred lives that day. The counselor's loyalty to my father is beyond question. She's as steady as Tears Heartbeat, as upstanding as the Sword Mountains. All right. Father's at Moonrise Towers, and we need to save him. Okay. A well, simple yes would suffice. Basically, yeah, that was a very flowery, flowery, flowery way of saying yes. The cult must have reasons for taking your father, but what? They want violence, they want control, they want Baldur's Gate. Who better than Grand Duke Ravenguard to surrender it? Who better than the commander of the Flaming Fist to dismantle its defenses? They will infect him, 
and the city's guardian will become its ruin unless we put a stop to it. All right, we've got a goal. What do you think? Uh, to Moonrise, then. We can't let the Absolute take the Grand Duke Ravenguard. We already knew this, though. We can't and we won't. We'll Catherick approve. Thorn be damned. All right. Uh, oh, what do you think of the illithid potential the Dream Visitor spoke of? I think that unknowable powers come with unknowable consequences. Yeah, I agree. I can't say I'm not curious. But <laughs> once you take an illithid by point. the talent... Horns. There's no telling how deep into the abyss it might drag you. Coming from a guy with horns, yes. Ah! Oh, you've seen how dangerous these cultists are. We need extra help. Just look at me how potent I'm becoming. Think of what we could accomplish together. We face untold da uh, dangers. Will, shouldn't we seize every possible advantage? Uh, why? What's going on here? What do, what am I asking for? What is this about extra help? Is this about the uh, oh, illicit? Probably eating more worms. Yeah, you I know thought. what? Let's move on. We're not going to eat more worms. Worms. How about that? We'll get there eventually, right? Presumably. We'll we have will. It. Okay. We will. All right. Move on. Moving All on. Right. Bye. What else is on your mind? Oh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, leave. <laughs> and then there's uh, Thaniel. We haven't spoken to him for a bit. Catherick's soul still nourishes the shadows. Destroy him so the land may heal. So that I may heal. Okay. So he is as creepy as ever. That's fine. We can we can live with that creepiness. That that's okay. He's just kind of hanging out with us, and we sort of tolerate him. Did I miss anybody? Uh, Lizelle. Where is Lizelle? Through here. Yeah, she typically likes to stay away. What's what's down here? Nothing. Maybe this way. What? Where, where, wait, 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 wait. Where is Lizelle? Oh, up here. Okay, there's a. We have to go up these rocks. Because this is where Halson is and Lizelle as well. We could we could talk to Halson too. Might as well get caught up with Oak people. Father preserve you. Uh, I met a peer of yours, Druid Yehera. Uh, you, do you know her? Only by reputation. She was present when we marched against Ketherick Thorm, but on the far end of the battle lines from where I fought. Ah. And in the chaos that ensued, well, our forces were scattered. I led some to safety, but never learned of her fate. I'm glad to hear she survived. <laughs> Though in truth, I should not be surprised. She was always said to be formidable and cunning. I could have learned much from her, no doubt. You're an arch druid. What could you possibly? What po you? Uh, what, what? What could you learn from anybody? No matter how long I live, I will always strive to remain a keen pupil. Only a fool would think he could drink in all knowledge until none is left. There is always more. Nature's tapestry is infinitely complex. Yeah, there's another way of putting that. I cannot help but wonder how she would have handled some of the challenges I faced as Archdruid. Would she have helped the refugees? Defended the Grove? Controlled Korga? <laughs> At least now we can benefit from her presence. And perhaps work to a common goal. Uh, the short answer to that, that would have been also applicable would be the more you know, the more you know you don't know. Or now you know, and knowing's half the battle. Or the more you know, the more you know what you don't know. <laughs> yeah, same. I, I, similar idea. <laughs> um, you spent all these years fighting the shadow curse. What happens once it's lifted? Oh well, we already knew that. Well, okay. Honestly, I never thought I'd make it that far. But the absolute is a threat to all, and I promised I'd help you with your parasite. So, I'll remain with you. 
If you'll have me, that is. Oh, no, of course. Um, wish you joined us earlier. So do I. But one duty at a time. Did you see how it called them a workhorse? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um. <laughs> oh, I feel like I haven't gotten to know you properly yet. Oh, my goodness. We know where that leads. Um. And at least nowhere good for our run through. Yeah. How am I holding up in your estimation? I've been unfair to you. I've had really? unrealistic expectations of your character ever since I joined you. But honestly, you've surpassed even those. Seems my faith was more than well founded. All right. Um, I think that's good for now. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. I think we're good. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's it, Halson. We're not. Oh. Okay. And then finally, we have her nibs. I'm curious what Lazelle has to say. Full-fledged vampires are not so easily slain. Astarian's master will be no exception. Understood. Fortunate for him, slaying monstrous fanatics is a pastime of ours. Okay, I like your I like your spark. Um. Okay, I, we don't need to talk to her about the tadpole. We, should we ask her about that? Uh, she will. She will not like it. Yeah, let's leave. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm kind of. I kind of knew that already. Um. Yeah. Yeah, like. The fact that she fights these things, like, that's her whole reason for being, in a way. Yeah. 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 All right. I think that's everybody, isn't it? I mean, we, we could talk to Withers. Thou walkest alone. On all these harsh nights, thou hast sought no company. That is correct. I don't want a partner. Love is no domain of mine. Well, obviously. But it is often cited as the purpose of mortal life. Wherefore turnst thou from it? Um, oh, they do like me. I, I keep getting, you know, having to beat them off with a stick. Um, I've, I have better things to be doing. How about that? <laughs> and thus thou art alone. That is true. Yes. Thank you for telling me that. The obvious. 